Hey Facebook, what's going on? Hey YouTube, <clears throat> if you see me shouting out people, I'm actually on Facebook. And hello to all my replay viewers. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Candy B. So today I wanna talk about one of the questions that I always get about our organic detox tea is, um, how, well, how does it taste? You know, does it taste like water? And there's two different kinds, they both work the same. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey Elaine, how are you? What's going on? Okay, so let me get myself together. I had to think. <laughs> so there's two different kinds. Hey, all right, I'm gonna stop shouting y'all out. I'm about to get to the video because I'll be on here shouting out and then I forget. You know how my mind is. Okay, so there's two different kinds. You got your we have our brew and then we have our instant, and they both they both work the same, they're very effective, okay. This you have to boil on the stove, okay? This is like a shake and go. So how does this taste? To me, it tastes just like water. Um, and but you can add lemon, fruit, honey, no Kool-Aid, no beer, <laughs> no sugar. The best sugar I would say is stevia. And for the instant, I like to add the um true lemons. <clears throat> true, yeah, true lemon. It's you can get like 10 packs at Walmart for $1.97. I was trying to figure out, I was like, is it True Lamont? I know Kim calls, she like True Lamont, but she all, she got a journalism major, so she be using all these, <laughs> she be pronouncing things a little bit differently from the way I do. But yeah, it's True Lamont, you add it to the um, instant tea and you shake it up and go. So, the next question I get is, do I have to eat? Do, you know, am I on a strict meal plan when I detox? Actually, no. But I do recommend you only do, um, bread. No, you stay away from bread and you stay away from, um, carbs. Okay. Like I said, my mind, I had to think, right? So you can eat whatever you, you can eat whatever, but try not to, try to be mindful and also eat in portions. Okay. So, so say for example, you don't have to do like all greens or uh you don't have to do wheatgrass or anything like that just eat your normal eat your normal food whatever you eat but try to stay away from like processed foods uh drive through things like that while you are detoxing to get the most effective results i hope this makes sense to you and, I'm, and one more question it was another question that i got about the um I'm trying to make sure I answer all you guys' questions that i get that people inbox me about so i got i covered how does it taste taste Oh, thank you. Um, like I said, the brew tastes like water. The instant you can add, I don't really like, I'm not going to say I don't really like the flavor. It's just a little bit bitter. You know, some people like to drink it straight. Good for you if you like to drink it straight. Um, one of my clients do, but I usually add this to it, okay? Because it has stevia in it. And one more question that I get about it is, um, how long do I have to detox? Do I have to detox forever? Um, uh, pretty much, yeah, but I always tell my clients, you know, take a break. If you do it for a week, stop, then take a break. The brew, both of them last for seven days. And the reason why I recommend you detox the rest of your life is because, you know, the longer the food sits on the shelf, the longer it takes to break down in your body. And the food is necessarily like, it doesn't really feed our bodies anymore like it used to. Um, I know I've heard like, an orange that was made that was produced in the 80s is more a is oh an orange that they had in the 80s now we would have to eat eight of those to make it equivalent to um the oranges that was produced in the 80s if that makes sense to you i mean you can tell that the food is totally different i mean now an orange is like almost bigger than my head <laughs> and strawberries and lemons they're definitely not making the food the way they used to so we, we have to be very mindful what we put in and always you know when you're grocery shopping try to shop outside the aisles that's one thing that i do i don't really go i do go in the frozen section but it's more so for my kids like waffles and stuff like that and i really don't like them eating all of that but of course they are kids and um i'm not trying to start <laughs> i'm not trying to starve my children or anything like that because they're already little but for us that know better you know just try to stay on your fruits and vegetables and i know it's very like now things everybody want everything convenient but like those processed foods, like the, uh, what is it, Zatarans, I think, 
all those box things are definitely not good i mean all the salt and just think about it how is it that food can stay on a shelf for you know the expiration on it will be like 2019 or 2000, 2020 and you know that's really not like how is that that doesn't even make sense so the longer it sits on that shelf is the longer it's going to take and so you can just imagine what is inside of your body that is not how god created food so even you know all the food is crazy that's why i'm very um into detoxing and taking care of my body because i've never seen anything like it these days so i hope this video was valuable to you i know i started ranting i got a little I do this sometimes. I get on video and I be like, what did I say I was going to talk about? I mean, I'm a human. I'm just going to keep it real. So I do lose my thoughts sometimes. That happens because this is Facebook Live. It's not like, you know, I could just shoot the video and post it. And I got people on here watching me. So, yeah, I kind of forgot what I was going to say. But that's cool. So what I would like for you to do. For me, if you like me, I know you like me because you're on here sharing this care and share this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.